After hearing the reports and seeing the video, we wanted to know what type of training these Henrico Sheriff's deputies actually went through. On your side, investigator Jasmine Turner getting answers and taking a deeper look into Henrico's crisis intervention team. Well, Kurt, the, through the Freedom of Information Act, the On Your Side investigators learned all seven Henrico deputies indicted in Otieno's death completed 40 hours or more of crisis intervention team training. The bottom line, CIT is a mindset of treating people with respect and dignity. That's how Henrico County describes its crisis intervention team, or CIT. Established in 2008, CIT is a statewide effort that includes law enforcement officers, emergency dispatchers, mental health treatment providers, even family advocates to improve the response to people experiencing a mental health crisis. Some of the goals of CIT are affording persons with mental illness, substance abuse problems, or both a sense of dignity in crisis situations, increasing public recognition and appreciation for the mental health needs of a community, and decreasing arrest and use of force. Records from the Henrico County Sheriff's Office show the seven deputies indicted with second degree murder in the death of Ivo Otieno completed the required 40 hours of CIT training. Five of the deputies have gone through either a four hour or eight hour refresher course. And according to the records, Brandon Rogers is the most recently trained, completing CIT on May 27, 2022. In addition to the refresher hours, Dwayne Bramble, Jermaine Branch, and Tabitha Levere have more than 60 hours of training. They completed what's called CIT Train the Trainer Training, or TTT. That's 20 more hours of training to prepare deputies to provide the 40-hour CIT training to their team members. According to the program development guidance last updated in 2014, core training for CIT includes site visits and role play exercises. Training 100% of an agency in CIT is discouraged and programs are asked to only train officers who are self-selected, supervisor approved and experienced. And the National Alliance on Mental Illness, which Henrico County calls an important partner in its crisis intervention team, has called Otieno's death an outrage. In a statement, NAMI's CEO said, quote, as a nation, we must address the systemic challenges that repeatedly fail people with mental illness and their families, leaving far too many without hope. For the On Your Side investigators, Jasmine Turner, NBC 12. Thank you, Jasmine.